Today's video is a grown and sexy try on haul. I recently turned 32 this year and I'm not gonna lie, at first I was a little bit nervous to turn 30. I was like, oh my God, like time is flying, I'm getting older. But as time is going on, I am embracing every single year that God has allowed me to even be able to breathe and be in good health. And you know, I am just turning into the, a woman that, I was gonna say the woman that I've always wanted to become, but actually just I far exceeded my expectations of that because I've really like been spending a lot of my time, especially um, over the last two years, just working on my personal development and just growing. And as I'm doing that, my wardrobe needs to grow along with me. I'm like, yeah, I'm getting older, but I ain't that old. So, you know, I'm trying to keep it sexy still because I'm still young, you know, um, but I am still maturing. So that's why I'm doing like a grown and sexy, um, kind of like a lookbook, try on haul, whatever you want to call it. I just want to show you guys some items that I've really fallen in love with that I plan on wearing this spring slash summer. And you guys let me know what you guys think. Obviously, I'm already wearing the first look, which is this pink feathered tube top that I ordered from Fashion Nova. I will go ahead and mention that it does run a little bit small. I typically wear between a small and a medium and it's really hard for me to decide between the two sometimes. I went with the small um, because I got a medium in a different color. It was a different cut though and it was just slightly big and I'll show you guys later in the video. Um, but then this small is just it's a little tight But it still works because I've been wearing it for like the last two hours around the house Just to kind of see how to be when I wear it out of the house and it's been fine. It's been holding up I haven't had to do a lot of adjustments or anything like that. But anyway, I absolutely love this top The only thing I'll say about that other than the size is that I do wish that it had a little bit more feathered Like you can see in certain areas. It looks a little bit spaced out. So that would be like the only downfall with the top but I still really do love it I love the cleavage that it's showing I don't mind showing a little bit of cleavage um, I'm a little bit more conservative when it like comes to my bottom garments but as far as showing cleavage y'all I'm fine with that <laughs> um and my man is fine with that too so yeah I'm probably gonna wear it with a skirt that I currently have on I typically don't like to do something that's revealing at the top and then do something revealing at the bottom too but I feel like it balances itself out for some reason, maybe because that left side does have the longer um, piece, the asymmetrical skirt. It does have like a longer side to it. So I feel like that kind of helps it. The skirt, I did order it from Zara last year. I'm gonna try to see if I could find all of the links to everything that I am posting today. If I'm not able to find it or if it's sold out, I'll be sure to notate that in the description of this video. Since I just showed you this pink top and the outfit that I'm gonna wear with that, I figured I'd just keep it going and show you guys the white top that I ordered that I also ordered from Fashion Nova. I do like the white top better because the feathers are filled all the way out. There's no spaciness or anything like that. And it just fits me better. The quality is better to me. The, the fit is better. And I love this white that's paired with these ripped jeans that I purchased from Shein. I'm probably gonna wear these jeans a million times this spring because I absolutely love the way they fit. All of these items will be linked in the description of this video. If, if I can't find it or if it's sold out, I'll let you guys know. But the last time I checked, most of them are still available. I've been really into ordering a lot of dresses lately and this dress I love so much. I don't have on the bra that I'm gonna wear with it. I'm gonna wear it with my brassy bra um, just because I don't want like a bra to show through. And basically, if you don't know what a brassy bra is, it's just like tape, I guess like an adhesive tape that you can stick to your bra and it allows for you to hold your um, breast up without exposing like straps and all these other things. So definitely gonna wear it with that and I was not about to waste one brassy bra just to try on this dress because it's not reusable. Um, but I love the puffy looked dresses and I love this orangish kind of it's like a rust color I don't know the exact color but it's like a rusty orangish red type of color the sleeves the the um, bottom part around my legs I love that part and I'll tell you why it has like an elastic around the bottom so it keeps it in place it's not just blur it out and you don't feel like oh maybe your dress will fly up or anything like that it actually has an elastic band that keeps it secure around your thighs so you I just feel really comfortable when I have it on and I just feel like it's just giving very much 
mature and I'll probably say the word chic so many times because that's what these pieces are given, honey. <laughs> but it definitely just gives chic and mature and grown and sexy, just what I'm going for. I don't quite know what I'm gonna pair this dress with yet either, but if you're following me on Instagram, Naturally Nella, then you're gonna see all of these looks come to life and I am gonna pair them and wear them in the way that I actually want to. This pink dress I purchased from a website called Miss Pap and maybe y'all have heard about it. I have not. Like I feel like it's very new to me and I don't know how long they've been out, but I came across it and I was like, oh my God, you guys have some really cute pieces. I did notice that the structure of the website is very similar to that of Boohoo. It's kind of like Boohoo, whoever runs Boohoo, I'm assuming they run Miss Pap because I feel like their websites are so similar as far as layout, but it just seems like Miss Pap has more What's the word I'm looking for? More luxe items? The items just look a little bit better and I love Boohoo, no shade to Boohoo, but I just feel like these items are more luxe and they are more expensive too. So the question is, where am I going to wear this dress to? All I know is somebody better get married. Somebody needs to invite me to a wedding. My friend is getting married, but um, she is very religious and this is not very appropriate to wear to her wedding. So I need somebody else to get married. I need some sort of event that's gonna be fitting for this dress because I absolutely love this dress. It's the pink that I'm definitely loving on this spring. I just love everything about the sleeves. It's just such a statement piece. It's definitely giving what it needs to give. But yeah, if you're watching this, get married so I can come to your wedding. Thanks, send me an invite. This white blazer, I originally wanted it in black, but they did not have my size and I was so disappointed because something about the pattern in the blazer on the black was so beautiful, but I love the blazer so much that I still went ahead and got it in the white or cream color because it is still a really nice um, faux leather blazer. The pattern is absolutely beautiful. I am 5'7 and I love that it's not too short for me to wear and I won't feel uncomfortable because like I said, I can be a little bit conservative with my bottoms. So I like that I still feel very comfortable with the length of this um, blazer dress and it just fits me very nicely. I just love the way it kind of, I don't, I won't say it accent, accentuates my curves because I really don't got that many curves y'all. But I like the way that it just falls on my body. Let's just say that. I don't know what I'm gonna wear this yet with either. I'm thinking maybe I'll wear it with like some colored strappy um, sandal heels um, and like a bag that complements that. I, I think that's what I'm probably gonna go for. This blazer is giving grown and sexy. It definitely falls into the grown and sexy category. So it's a yes for me. So this next piece is one that I was a little bit on the fence about, this white midi dress. Um, the reason why I'm on the fence about it is not because there's anything wrong with the dress, but because it's because I'm top heavy and I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do adjustments. I don't know if any kind of boob tape will help with that or anything like that. Overall, I love the dress because of how it sucks onto me and it just makes me feel really grown in. I'm gonna say grown and sexy because that's what we're going for in this video, but it makes me feel really grown and sexy, you know, and I like it, but I'm just not sure how I feel about the top half area, but I, I feel like there's nothing some boob tape and dress tape can't fix, so I'm definitely gonna make it work some way, somehow. I know that I'm going for like a lot of color this spring, more color than I'm used to, but I'm probably gonna pair this with something neutral just because I like how it looked with these neutral heels that I had on um, when I tried them on. So we'll see how that goes. It zips up in the back and then it has the pocket detail right at the front. I also love like the haltered, um, crisscross haltered look that's at the front as well. Um, so overall, this is a simple dress, but the details make it pop and then the way it fits me make it pop. And last but certainly not least is this dress that I purchased from Miss Pap. Like I said, I fell in love with that site and I fell in love with this color, obviously. Y'all are gonna see that a lot from me um, this season. I ordered this dress in a size six. I'm typically between a four and a six and I was torn, so I was like, you know what? Let's just go with the six. Worst case scenario, I can just get it altered if it doesn't fit. How about the six is like, let's just say this runs small. This runs small, like an eight would have been perfect, but the six is fine too. Um, I'll be able to get away with this six. 
I just gotta make sure I'm not eating way too many <laughs> donuts before I wear this dress because baby, we are right there. Like, this close from busting out of this dress. Regardless, I still absolutely love this dress. The model on the website had the collar down and I might wear the collar folded over, um, but there's something about like wearing it all the way closed up that I really like too. I love the sleeve detail on this dress. It's just so unique, obviously, and different than most sleeves on dresses that I currently have. So the sleeves is what really makes the dress for me. I also feel like this dress was made for my body type because of the way how um, it fits my body. It's like the belly area fits my belly nicely. The hip area fits it as well. Um, and then it accommodates my top half. So I feel like a lot of Miss Paps items have been hitting the mark with my body type. So I'm really impressed with this dress. Again, I might do it with some yellow because I'm loving the pink and yellow combo. So y'all might get tired of that too. Or I might keep it a little neutral. I'm not fully decided on that yes, but that yet. But overall, this dress is a it's a yes for me too. It's definitely grown and sexy. So overall, I really love all of the pieces that I put together. Make sure you guys let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see y'all next.